What's happening, comic fans? I am back with a very sizable package from DCBS, aka Discount Comic Book Service. Bunch of pre-orders finally here. That I don't know when they first released. A couple months within the last few months, and they're the way they ship things. Whatever it takes a little while, but finally here. And yes, this is got some most wanted omnibus in here, several, and some other collected editions. Tons of new reading material for my collection and great new additions for the bookshelf so yeah let's crack it open all right people we are jumping right in because i'm waiting to get this this arrived just yesterday i don't know when i'm gonna actually upload it but uh here you are and there's a couple spots on the box that look a little banged up so hopefully this was packaged well. I have one other order. I have received one other order from DCBS before. It was a smaller order. A bunch of trays, no omnibus in there. So like, I don't know what to expect, but this is gonna be nine books, I believe. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Oh, wow, this, oh my goodness. This is gonna be insane. We got all sorts of bubble wrap. I'm just gonna make it a bit of a mess. Okay, so they bubble wrapped it to hell, so everything should be packaged well. Thank you. We got my packing slip. Oh wait, so it's it's seven books, not nine. Thinking of a different order for my uh, in stock trades order that should be coming soon is nine books. So all right, let's actually let's see how this works. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad they finally. When they released the pre-orders or announced the pre-orders for these, I jumped all on these. These omnibus anyway. Because these are absolutely my some of my most wanted ones. I have X-Men. The first uncanny. I will have the first two X-Men ones. The first uncanny X-Men. The first Amazing Spider-Man. And then these ones were ones that I absolutely wanted next. Alright, so we got everything out of the box. Packaged wonderfully. So shout out to DCBS. Definitely took care of that. And it, the thicker bubble wrap. And nice size sturdy box, the thicker bubble wrap definitely helped protect in the way it was wrapped. So excellent, like I said, so there was a couple of spots on the box that were a little bit dinged up, but when I packaged it, everything turned out well. So as far as my initial look over everything, so uh, shout out to them for taking care of the books, obviously. And everything, got everything out. So seven books, everything, all but one book is Marvel. So we're gonna start with the DC one. We got Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, the hardcover. So I think this is, what is this? So Justice League 75 and Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths 0 through 7. So I figured what the hell, I wasn't going to pick it up in individual uh, floppies. But then I was going through the pre-orders and I was like, oh, hey, I did. I was curious about it. So I wanted to read it and figure why the hell not. Nice discount on the hardcover. So looking forward to checking that out. Yeah. Uh, go to the characters here. Who did this cover? It's not set up here. Maybe it is. I don't know. So, if you read this, share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, like I said, uh, this is probably the second crisis that I've actually read. This uh, after, um, I think it was Identity. I guess that was mixed up. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Identity. And then this, we have the uh, Tales of Susp Well, it's actually Mighty Marvel Masterworks. This is Captain America. This should be... Where does it say if it's volume one or two? I don't know. But... So it's reprinting those Tales of Suspense stories with uh, Cap and Iron Man. Well, it's just the Cap stories, I believe. He who holds the Cosmic Cube. So I just like these kind of little digest reprints of these. I have a few of these. So they're just cool. So what is this? Tales of Suspense 78 through 94. And what is that? Not Brand Eck. Number. Oh my God, I can't see the number. But yeah, so looking forward to that. Super Daptoy, Red Skull. I think some backtrack in here as well should be. And then some of the other Avengers. So yeah, looking forward to checking it out. But now for the start of the show, again, my most wanted omnibus. And when they announced these, I said, what? I'm jumping all over these because I've been waiting for these. I don't know the last time these been out of these been out of print for several years. And I think with the disc, it was like, was it it was 45, 50% off? I don't even know. And I don't really want to just take a look at the binding make sure it's all matching because that would be awful. I know sometimes publishers do that where the actual spines would be all different for 
But yeah, these are all the same size, same size font, the numbering, everything is the same. So let's jump right into it. That is right, people. We are assembling the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Avengers Omnibus Volume 1 is back and in my collection. Beautiful Jack Kirby cover here. Love the colors on this. Always just pop that red and the yellow in there in gold, yellow gold. Just absolutely pops. Uh, can't see the spine. I probably won't show the rest. Of, oh, man, just so you can see the art. But I won't pop the side of the, uh, the plastic yet. But, yes, it all begins here with Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Don Heck, and host of, and host, excuse me, say, and a host of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, who, when assembled, become the Avengers. So this has Avengers 1 through 30. Yes, people, finally. Been waiting for this to find a copy of this, and then when they got announced that they were going to be re reprinting these, hell yes. We got Kang, Spider-Man appearance there. I think Doom is in 25. Where's that cover at? Oh, yeah, there it is. Way down there. Dr. Doom. But, yes, you take a look at all these. I like when they do these for Omnibus, when they show all the covers there. And then have a little bit of information, at least say something. And then let you know what issues are involved or included in there. That is the way to do it. And we got volume two. That matchup cover there. What does it say on the bottom? The new Avengers versus the old Avengers. Black Panther, Hawk, Hawkeye, the Wasp. Look at the corner art up there. Twice as many faces, twice as many thrills. Avengers special. Yeah. Ooh wee. So much new reading material. Uh, 31 through 58, annual 1 through 2, 1 and 2, and then X Men 45. Where are you at? They list them, they always show them in alphabet or chronological order. So, where's the X Men issue in here? It's not showing on the back. They usually have all the issues on the back. Remember? Oh, there it is. Couldn't see it. But yeah, got the Cyclops there. Is it? Yeah, right above the first appearance of Vision there. So, yeah, you got first appearance of Vision in here. Super Daptoid again, Hercules, bum looking self, Red Guardian, Black Knight, Magneto, the Masters of the Evil, Ultron. Oh, yes, uh, Grim Reaper. Yes, Avengers Omnibus, Volume 2. Welcome to the family. And then we, with Volume 3, you got the Red Wolf. Now, all these covers are, there were two covers for everything. I chose the direct market covers for all, I believe, unless I picked one. I think I chose all of the direct market covers. Yeah. So, got First Prince Red Wolf. I picked that issue up earlier this year, maybe. Now, Lobo Attack, The Coming of Red Wolf. I think that was issue 80. Yeah. So, this one, uh, Avengers 59 through 88, Incredible Hulk 40, and Marvel Super Heroes number 17 with Black Knight. But this one has should have the... Uh, Got first appearance of Valkyrie in there, the Lady Liberators, that issue. Um, again, Red Wolf, Origin of T'Challa, is that in here? Yeah. Black Panther, T'Challa, Avengers Symbol. Who else is in this? Uh, Mbaku, the Man Ape. Yeah, there goes Lady Liberators. I don't know what's in that Hawk issue or why that Black Knight is included, but it probably just dropped right around the time. Well, no, his first appearance was in the last book, so. I don't know who's to say, but yes, Avengers Omnibus Volume Three. Then we have Volume Four. I think this should be right around the Kree Scroll War. It opens up with that. Oh yeah, what does it say in the back? For the Avengers, it's all out war, and Roy Thomas and Neil Adams Kree Scroll War, and Steve Englehart's Avengers Defenders Clash. Where are we at? Avengers eighty nine through one nineteen. Daredevil. Well, the plastics in the way. 99, Defenders, 9 through 11, and material from Defenders, number 8. So, the Avengers, Defenders, uh, crossover there. I didn't even see what the rest of these, I didn't say what the rest of you said. Oh, nothing there. Yeah, nothing there. Never mind. And there might have been a little blurb or something, but yeah. Uh, some more Grim Reaper in there, Magneto, the Sentinel. Who else? The cool yellow border cover there for 100. Yeah, is it 100? Yeah. So, yeah. Avengers. Omnibus Volume 4. And last up, we have Avengers Omnibus Volume 5. 
That is right, people. One through five. Avengers Assemble. We stand of we stand or we fall against Zodiac. The final battle. This time it's a fight to the finish. That's right, people. Angle Hearts, uh, Salve Uh, is that George Jessica? And then George Perez on this. Oh, yeah, first appearance of Hellcat in here. Patsy Walker. Uh, got Beast in there in the lineup. A lot of Beast. Kang. Oh, yes. Some absolute bangers in there. Secret Origins are revealed. Cosmic Epics unfold. Heroes fall. Vows are exchanged. And the Avengers battle Kang the Conqueror in Marvel Classics. We have Collecting the Avengers 120 through 149, Giant Size Avengers 1 through 4, Captain Marvel 33, and FF 150. So where's FF 150 and fall in here? I don't see it. Let's see, Avengers, 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 Giant Size. Oh, there it is. It's like in the middle there, but yes. Ton oh my goodness, some fantastic new reading material. Five new omnibus for the bookshelf. Oh, and of course, one DC book. Nothing but. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. <laughs> A lot of glare. But yes, as I said was before, talking about the spine. Uh, that one's always kind of. I understand how people how that can irk people, especially when you put stuff on your bookshelf and it's the same series, the same style of book, but then. They enlarge the font or whatever, maybe change the color or something. But didn't have to worry about that here. Everything's the same. But yes, this is fantastic. So I'm still waiting for my in stock trades order. Again, it's like I think it's nine books. Um, so hopefully that should be arriving shortly soon. Uh, but yeah, lots of cool stuff there. Some more indie books in there. Some couple Marvel. I think that one might be uh, majority DC. But yes, uh, tons of dope stuff. So. Uh, like I just kind of ventured onto DCBS just to try some, just try out the service, and I picked up some collected editions and the first some trades, uh, I think indie, some indie trades, and maybe a couple Marvel ones. But I was like, you know, what? because I use primarily use mycomicshop.com. I always talk about them, but this is another DCBS discount comic book service. There's another service out there that can uh, for pre-order services. I think I like the way they pack and a lot of stuff that they had and the discount they offer for just in general, but especially for the bigger books. But uh still use primarily mycomicshop.com. I will stick with them. But especially for the way the shipping works and the just their whole pre-order system, it is kind of, it takes a little bit for DCBS, but I think obviously they are a smaller operation, so I kind of give them credit for that. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're using a, a pre-order service, which one? Uh, just curious what are your thoughts on them. If you're interested in others, like I said, mycomicshop, DCBS, Midtown, uh, I think Westfield still does one. Who else? Um, oh my God. I forgot. I think there's another couple out there. Some online retailers that do online pre-orders. So definitely a worthwhile, worth at least looking into if you're interested. I know some people talk about their shop shutting down, their local shops, and not having a place to, a closer place to pick up their books. And they're looking at, like, hey, what are some online places that do pre-orders? There are several out there. So check them out and see what works for you. Give them a shot. Uh, but yeah, so that is that. Uh, just wanted to show, this, show these off. Uh, if you're interested in this, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, drop a comment, share your thoughts in the comments below. What pre-order service you're using, what books you're looking at, what books are on the horizon. I know I just dropped in my uh, my comic shop order for September. That was I did that last week. It was just due. So, well, <laughs> we'll see when I upload this one. So it'll probably be a couple weeks back. But Yes, uh, again, share our thoughts. Uh, hit the socials, Geno's Comics, Instagram, Twitter. Still working on the blog, so the, the big relaunch of that. I'm still putting that off a little bit longer, but we'll be back full force with that. Uh, and yeah, that's a wrap. Uh, happy reading, happy content, happy collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching, and peace out.